Well, good day to you. This time around, I'm going to show you uh, the, the methods that I followed in finishing uh, the contrate wheel and pinion. Here I am taking a scribe and just scribing out roughly what um, the spokes are going to look like and uh, as, as a general guide uh, each place where the, the spoke is going to be blank or blanked out I'll, I'll then drill a hole uh, for to accept the jeweler saw blade where I then will cut out cut out the the blank you can see the the scribes there are a little bit easier Required a lot of it was a very rough cut, so it requires a, a lot of filing, and that's fine because um, allows for a, adjustment, final adjustment, and a better finish in the end. That first little bit, I was holding the the wheel between a plastic film and a piece of cork. There again, the second little bit, I was um, again using a piece of cork as a support. And here, surprisingly, holding it freehand allowed me to, to do the, the final touch-up in the shape of each uh, spoke uh, a lot better than I, I would have anticipated. Um, in the finishing part of it, the polishing of, of the wheel, you know, we, we go through the same steps as we would have uh, in, in the video where I polished the screw heads, using abrasive, uh, increasingly finer abrasive. The inside of the, the wheel uh, turned to be a bit tricky, and uh, but you go through the various grits and uh, to a final polish, which uh, with again is the Cinecom polish, is my favorite. Um, final metal polish. Then we uh, do an ultrasonic clean, an acid dip, uh, a rinse in distilled water. And then uh, a gold electro plate. It looks really dark here, but um, you can see it bubbling up. And it has a little bit different color to it. But, and you can see there that the inside was. Uh, not as polished as I would have liked it. I uh, failed to film the the hardening process, um, but here we are, we're going through the tempering process, and you can see the color change. The, if you go back and look, the first color would be the, the white, and then straw, and bronze, then what they call peacock, and then uh, purple, and then finally blue, which is where we want it to be. And I decided to use the the most, for this pinion anyway, the most simple method of polishing a pinion, and that is simply by taking a piece of peg wood and... Um, 
and using it to polish each pinion. Here I'm taking the, the peg wood and I'm actually taking the pinion to help form the peg wood to the profile of the pinion. And then uh, that's a very short clip of that process. But once the profile is is formed by using the pinion to cut the peg wood, then you can charge the peg wood with, this time it's diamond compound, and uh, start with a, about a 9 micron, then move to a 3 micron, and then to the semicrone polish for the final polish. Um, this picture here is what the the profile will look. The the downside to that is it doesn't get to the very bottom of the channel, which is what that picture is all about. And I'm polishing the very bottom of the channel or the root of the tooth. And all polishing is pretty much the same. You start with a coarse grit, you move up to a fine grit. And then I always like to finish with the semicrone polish. Here's the polished pinion and the finished wheel. Thanks for watching.